We are starting our Mega Squirt build, and first I'm going to do a quick unboxing of what came in the kit from DIY Autotune, and then I'm also going to cover kind of the path of how to build this um, that I'm taking for the Miata specifically. And by far, the best place to get information um, on the Miata that's current, up to date, ready to go, is from the website Trubokitty.com. And um, this is done by Brainiac from MiataTurbo.net, longtime uh, forum member and administrator on uh, the, the MiataTurbo.net forum. And um, this has everything you need. So I'm going to be doing a video guide, basically, of what he already has on his website. So uh, all the credit is to him. And uh, uh, he's put everything together in a... In a, in a logical way it's easy to follow and it's based on what you need to assemble specifically for your Miata um, which means that you can save a lot of time because not every component on the board is necessary to be installed for a Miata build um, so what did we get so we have a variety of packages um, and basically we've got our Mega Squirt 3 kit it contains miscellaneous, um, our miscellaneous components here uh, with this little set of packets and our main board. And so the main board you can see is clearly labeled. So all these numbers relate to all these numbers here on the packets. So it's fairly easy. It's basically solder by number. And um, we've got our board in here. And then we've got our expander board. This is the daughter board and this is the expander for the MX3X. Um, so this is what makes everything a lot easier than it was in the past. In the past you had to do a lot of your own little mods and modification, you know, a, a, a different circuits were added to this to support exactly what you needed for your particular vehicle. With the expander board a lot of that stuff is built in here and it's just a question of hooking up the right inputs and outputs as needed. Now, in addition to that, I went ahead and got from DIY AutoTune the um, air intake sensor kit with a bung and all that. Um, and you can buy these from kind of anywhere, but this is the one that sort of just definitely works. And it's not really that much more expensive in here. So I just thought I'd get it all together. Um, these are the expander. Uh, cable ends and for my harness I've got this wiring set which is nicely color-coded wires that's going to link up back to the diagrams that we have on the website so uh, you basically when you're ordering from DIY AutoTune you're getting this for about 400 bucks you add on this or, you know, a little bit more, 110, something like that. And then you can add these other pieces on for, you know, 20, 30 bucks here and there. Um, so all this together was $540 about. They had a one of their rare kind of discounts. And so some of the things you will need in addition to that for putting this together yourself is a pair of helping hands. I've got this just proto board in there right now, but this is the kind of thing the helping hands um, tool that's going to hold our board that we're going to solder on. We've got a little vacuum pump here. Um, and we've got some miscellaneous miscellaneous wire, um, a uh, desoldering wick, super wick, uh, you know, some solder. And I basically followed everything that was on the shopping list here on the website. So basically picked up all this stuff. Everything but the DIY plug and play. Um, it's because I'm going with my own harness that he talks about here. In addition, I went ahead and got this from, I think, Bouncer, uh, where you can buy these components. So that's what is in here. I've got two of them. These are the, these are the plugs. Um, the male side that plugs into your factory harness. So 
we're going to make our own harness out of these plugs and these wires and then it's just, just going to plug straight into the factory harness no cutting of the factory harness is required so i got two of them just in case you know something went wrong or i wanted to do it a different way or whatever um and so um i'm pretty cheap this one is actually for my car i have the 94 and it only uses um two connectors the middle connector is empty but you can actually use that as it mentions on the website as an, as an additional place for your option connector so um, that can be handy so this one is actually about twelve dollars you can get it for like five dollars the, the 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 48 pin one is like five bucks or something like that so you can get you can get that instead if you're not looking to to add something here but i decided to just go with it um and i got two of those um so what this contains is everything you're going to need, including your tools. And so I did that as well. I went with this soldering station and I've played with it some. And I've got it tuned. It looks like on soldering circuit boards, you're going to want it around the heat level to be about four or something like that, somewhere in there. And... Um, this thing works really well. I've got a very small tip on it. And this is this makes it super easy to do these really small holes in the board that we have. So before we get started with actually putting it together, um, this is a run through of kind of the basic um, steps that we're gonna be following here. Um, and obviously he does a better job of describing it, but for those who are visual learners like me, um, I'm gonna be demonstrating it um, on the video. And so this will be kind of a video companion guide perhaps uh, for this uh, website. So basically what you're looking at here is the components that we're gonna be installing. And you can see some circled items here. This is basically a deviation from what is in the normal Megasquirt build guide. And so these are specific deviations to do uh, the build for the Miata. And this covers both the you know the NA and NB Miatas and where they differ is noted in the website. But it's very simple. We're, we're only installing about half the components, number one, so that makes it easy. We're installing a resistor here as just a straight resistor as opposed to a, a, a modifiable resistor since we're just gonna be putting it to, I think 100K and leaving it there. Anyway, we're just gonna replace that with a 100K resistor. And then this is actually a bridge resistor which causes a, a pull-up, a five volt pull-up, um, which is the only other small little modification that's really required. And so we're gonna be installing the stuff, installing the cir integrated circuits, the transistors. We're gonna be putting in um, a couple of jumpers. Now for me with NA, it's actually super easy there's even less to do on N nb 99 through 05 you have to do a little bit more you basically be plugging in the daughter board there's no soldering involved in that well there is one i think one wire basically that goes across um to it um and then basically talking about the expander boards and how you're going to be dealing with the um the um these tunable resistors and then it gets in, this is the best part, um, really. It's got all the diagrams you need for your wiring harness. So specifically, you're talking about the, the DB37, you know, um, connectors and what's going where and what the colors are on your wiring harness. So this is what it looks fully populated. And with some diagrams about like what it looks like in real life, which is super handy. Um, you've got the connector. Basically what you're gonna be doing is the best way to actually solder this. And then and then we'll be doing, um, you know, kind of everything that's necessary related to your car. So you can select your year of car. This gives you the wiring diagram for your car, which I've verified with multiple documents because I wanted to be sure. Um, and it shows you what all the, is going into each connector. So one of the connectors is gonna be plugging into the 3X expander card, and the other one's gonna be plugging into the main board DB37. So this gives you all the wiring. 
and these um, colors should match the set that you got from DIY Autotune. So that's the last part is building is soldering up the harness. And then once you've got all that together, it's just a question of booting it up for the first time, loading the firmware.